Good afternoon. My name is James Little, and I want to share with you a free NIST GCMS software lab that I've developed for universities. This is part two, which is installation of the software. This is a part, the second part of an eight part series that I'm developing for the course. And to do that, we'll install this following group of programs. Version 1.7 MS Search it allows you to search spectra and identify unknowns. AMDIS deconvolution software that lets you take the demo files they supplied and get good spectra to send to the MS search. MS interpreter that allows one to use any entry in the library or in a user library that has a structure and a mass spectrum and it correlates the EI fragment ions observed to the compound's substructure. Then of course the two user manuals. The ACD structural drawing software will be used to send structures back and forth between the NIST software and it's also a free program. So let's go and download the programs. We'll go to my web page, we'll mass spec and sailing, and the, the entry that talks about the software lab for universities. We'll scroll down till we find the resources, and one will say NIST software download. I'll click on that. It carries me to the NIST page where we'll go down and you'll see one that says download the installation program. You don't have to load the manual because it'll come with the installation program. So we'll load that. Uh, my McAfee is checking to make sure there's no viruses in the executable. And it'll take, uh, when it downloads, it should download to your download folder. So we'll go and open that up. See if we can find that. Downloads. And it should be there. NIST 17 demo. I'll double left click on it to open up the zip file. I'll double left click again. It's warning it could have a virus, but this program is from NIST and it has no viruses. So we'll just say yes, we'll install it. We're going to take all the default settings. So do you want this app to do this? And I'm going to say yes. It's starting to install the NIST MS demo and AMDIS 2.7. And we'll take all the defaults. So just say next. And again, defaults, yes. We're going to put it where it suggests and see NIST demo on our hard drive. We'll say yes. Uh, set it will add a program to the program file listed NIST 17. We'll say yes. And you can see that the inst installation is starting. It says it's updating components. I'll just stay with you because the installation doesn't take very long. So we'll just uh, sit here for a second while we wait for it to complete the installation. And, and you don't have to reboot afterwards. It's not necessarily a bad thing to reboot your computer, but it says the setup is complete. Okay. I'll close my download file, minimize that. I'll go over here to my start menu at the bottom, at the bottom of my screen in Windows. I'm going up to Programs, and you'll come up and you'll see the NIST 17, and there's all the programs that you need to run, plus all the manuals, NIST 17, MS Demo, and AMDIS 2.7. So it looks like it installed properly. So let's go do the ACD installation now. So we come over to ACD and try to download it. So we'll go back to my web page. See if we get back to that, I might have to open it again. Uh, we'll just open my web page again so I can get back to that uh, link. Uh, it's the second entry on my page, so I'm coming down to it. I'm opening it, and I'm going scrolling down to the bottom again, and you'll see ACD free software. So I'll go to their web page. You see right here it says download for academic and personal use, about two-thirds down the page. Just click on that, and I'm going to autofill mine. And you have to put something for the academic institution, so I'll just put uh, teaching aid. Need something there. You can put your university and say, I accept all the criteria, and say, download the software. Download now. And again, it's downloading to my uh, 
download folder on my computer. Uh, so it's doing that now. Uh, it did it already, I guess. Pretty fast. So let's go over to my download folder and see if we can find it. I actually downloaded it twice while I was doing it. So I'm going to uh, double left click on the ACD icon. I'm going to double left click on the setup. And I'm going to say, take the default, say yes, and say OK. And if we go down here, click on the install shield. It was on my menu, it popped up, and I'll say yes, I want to do that. And so it's installing it. I'll take all the defaults, yes. I accept the terms and say next. Let it install the things on my program menu and say next. And this is where it'll put it in the program structure on the start menu. I'll say next. And say next. And install. So you can see it's going through the installation now. Take a few seconds here. We'll just go make sure it installed correctly. It's looking promising. Finish the installation. Say finish. Uh, you can always, again, like I said, you can reboot if you want to, but I think you don't have to for this program. But it never hurts if it's having problems. But we'll go over to Programs, and we'll go up to ACD Labs Freeware, and you can see all the uh, software is there that we need. The Chem Basic, Chem Sketch is the program that we'll run ultimately. So it looks like it all installed correctly. So we'll do one more check here in a second. Uh, I want to go and make sure that the file type, which is an MOL file, that's the type of file that it uses to talk between NIST and ACD, is assigned properly by my computer. So we'll step through that through the control panel. So we're going down to the Start menu at the bottom of the page. I'm hitting Start, and I'm going to type in Control Panel and see what it finds. And then it brings it up, Control Panel. And I'm going to the one that's called Default Programs, taking a look at it. What I want to make sure is all structures are, are saved in a .mol file. So I'm going to type MOL. I want to make sure that MOL, that ACD is using that MOL file. So I clicked on it and it brings it up and it says ACD Chem uh, Sketch Freeware Application File. So it's good. So I just wanted to make sure sometimes if you've had another drawing program on your computer, it might get confused about which one to use for going to talking back and forth between NIST. And it uses this MOL file in the clipboard to do that. So everything looks okay. So we should be ready to use the software. Thanks for your attention.